Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel. So um, it's been a little while, but a lot going on over the, the holidays here. So, but I'm excited to tell you about this new cage upgrade. So obviously this was here before, but I revamped the entire insides. Did I, I, I'm very sorry, but I should have made a video um, on how I did this, um, but I'm going to describe it to you instead this time. I promise the next one I will um, share all the details of how I did it with you. But this is going to be for our three um, green tree monitor lizards. Uh, currently we're housing the new female separate than the pair that we've had. Um, we're going to bring them all together um, in hopes that we have a little nice community and that they'll get along and that they'll breed. We believe that we have two females and one male. If you haven't seen my whole video about the, the uh, miss sexing debacle, uh, go check that out. Um, but in the meantime, let me show you this cage. Currently they're not in here. So what I did was I actually carved out a spot in this rock wall for a extra heat lamp because currently, or I mean, I should say before uh, I did that, the only heat element in here was this one here, which is producing a nice amount of heat. However, when you have this much plexiglass um, open to the outside, the uh, temperature regulation is a little bit of a, a tricky piece. So we have UVB coming from up above here. Um, and so the lizards are gonna come and hang out right around here. I'm gonna put a couple, maybe another vine or two so they can sit up here. Uh, so we have UVB covered, but uh, green tree monitors like it really, really warm. Um, so, you know, their hot spot is like 110 and they really enjoy hanging out around 90 degrees. Um, you know, I think on the cold spot of their other enclosure, it was, uh, maybe 80 degrees. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so let the lights are out. Hold it. Uh, okay. So sorry, we are in the evening lights turn off at a certain time in here, but we are bringing them back for, uh, pleasure of you viewers. So um, what I was saying was these lizards like it warm. Um, 80 degrees is like the cold spot um, in those cages at night. Maybe it gets into the high 70s, but I like to keep it warm. They, they seem to enjoy it. So this one heat element is not going to work, especially because this is really a wide cage. So what I did was I decided to carve this out. I built these handmade, this is handmade stone um, by me. And uh, I tucked this full light fixture. It's the exact same light fixture as this one, but tucked up and inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have their daytime, um, actually their daytime lamp over here, and I'm going to put this heat emitter in here. And the reason I'm going to do that is, um, if you guys haven't seen or played around with Universal Rock, which is the product that I use and a lot of others use, it's amazing. Um, it's actually it's hardcore and they can grab and climb to it. However, behind it is actually hollow. So there's an open like cavern, if you will, back here that the lizards are not going to be able to get to. However, I have it sealed off on top with uh, plywood. So this heat is actually going to radiate all throughout the back of this open cavern. And when they're sleeping kind of tucked up in here in this cork bark, this rock is actually going to be nice and toasty warm. Um, and then, so they have some cork bark hidden behind here that's going to be toasty warm at night. Um, down here, um, for now, I, I'm actually considering putting a heat mat underneath this uh, little um, stump. And the reason is I'm hoping that they lay their eggs inside um, that stump, which is something easy and accessible for us. Um, otherwise, lots of cool vines, lots of things for them to sit and bask on, multiple different areas, because we have three lizards, so I want to make sure that they don't, you know, compete for any resource at all. Um, here is going to be their nice water dish. I will probably add another water dish just inside the wall closer to where they are. And that is the cage upgrade. The only thing that I have not done yet that I still need to do is their automatic water system. So I'm working on that. We're gonna have probably at least one, maybe two sprayers, both sides coming down and in um, so that it keeps it really humid. Currently, I will be doing it by hand. Uh, 
since I just finished all the rock work, it's still a little wet. This right here, take a look at this. This is fake rock, all made out of great stuff foam. I'll show you what that looks like here. Um, so this is this is called ca uh, Gaps and Cracks Foam from GE, but regardless, um, Great Stuff Foam is like the other brand. It's like $3 a bottle, and honestly, one of these bottles could probably make a whole background for a cage that looks like this, um, you know, like a glass, maybe 40-gallon cage. So that's what I use here. Um, I will actually show you another trick. So first, you spray down the foam. I don't have any photos right now, but first you spray it down. And the reason I sprayed it right here is um, I set this big log or this big stick here and I used it, if you can kind of see over there, see how it just goes right into the rock here. So that's not rock, that's also the great stuff foam. So you, you uh, position your stick where you want, you spray your great stuff foam, do not get this stuff on your hands. I've said that in one of my other videos, wear gloves, this stuff is nasty. If it gets on your hands, your hands will become a specific color and it will not go away for a long period of time. So otherwise, once that dries after about maybe an hour or so, you come back in, take a knife, and I, you can see, because it, it foams up in bubbles normally, what I did is I took a knife and I chopped different layers to make it look like a rock. So that's part one. Still looks like this big white blob. Then take this right here, your normal painter's acrylic latex caulk right here, okay? Take it, again, use gloves, cover the entire white surface of the Great Stuff Foam. Take your gloved hand, rub it in. Make a nice, thin, but good layer all over that rock, okay? So that's part two of making the stone. And then the finale, which I will show you, is you take a paintbrush, and inside here is sand, okay? This sand, you can, you can um, if you're trying to match this color of Universal Rock, they will actually sell you and send you different colored sands that they personally use. But um, this is the method that I use. Take a look. You just dab, just like that. You just do that over and over and over and then it gives you this rocky texture. Now I also have the black sand. I have a little orangish sand and a little bit lighter, like um, like almost skin colored sand. So now to top, to top it off, to give it more texture, I'll take a hit of just the black sand and tap it on until I get the consistency that I like that looks like the rock. But honestly, um, you can do this with, with, if you're not matching the background of anything, you can go and get play sand, Black, you know, just sand from the um, fish store that they use for the bottom of the tanks. You can use that. Anything that's really finely, finely ground sand, you can use. And you can start making your own rock backgrounds, which is really, really cool. Um, so, then, now this piece is stuck in, it was normally just free floating, but now this uh, Great Stuff Foam hardens to a very stiff blob. And now, these are all hardened, ready to go. Boom, boom. Lizards can climb up, won't fall down, and there we go. So I hope they enjoy it, but normally this stuff, uh, this stuff dries really quickly, but the, um, the caulking normally takes about a couple hours. So we'll let that air out. That's what the doors are off for, um, and then we're going to get them all into their cage. And uh, all right, if you guys have any questions on my build or um, want to you know, leave any comments of anything that you think I can do better or different, uh, please do. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and check us out on Instagram at Scales Reptiles. Scales with a Z. Talk to you soon.